Hey everyone and welcome back to Haste Kitchen. Today I'm joined by no other than Joe Wicks, aka The Body Coach. Now if you don't know who that is, or who that face is, he's been pretty much everywhere for this last year. All over Instagram doing something called Lean In 15. Um, if you don't know what it is, what's it about? So Lean In 15, I started on Instagram last year. It's 15 second videos on Instagram showing how to cook a really healthy 15 minute meal. Amazing. So I'm quite lucky to be joined by him today. And we don't actually look too bad in height for the first time. Every time I do a collab, I'm joined by like six foot. Yeah. Every time. It drives yeah. me mad. Right, um, so what we're going to be cooking, we're going to be doing a my sort of version on a, a, a dirty Friday night, Saturday night takeaway. So my twist of this, we're going to be doing a, a lamb style kebab. We've got a little bit of pickled cabbage. We're going to serve this up with a slightly different bread. So instead of doing a, a, a standard style flatbread wrap, we're going to use some spelt flour instead. If you want to know how to make the spelt wrap, click on his face. Yeah. And that'll go through and show you how to make that. And then we'll be serving this up with a little bit of a cooling yogurt, which Joe's going to be making. What's in that? So yeah, it's like a writer, sort of Indian slash Turkish inspired. It's going to have a bit of Greek yogurt, salt and pepper, some mint sauce you can get in a jar from any supermarket, a little bit of fresh mint, and then some cucumber, and finally one clo clove of uh, crushed garlic. Nice. To start up with, we're going to get on with the lamb kebabs. So we've got some fresh lamb, garam masala, half a red onion, you want to chop that up for me? Yeah, cool. Like? What's your knife skills like? I'm getting better, but I've, I've, I mean, I'm not a trained chef, so remember, I was a personal trainer. Yeah. And I just started posting these videos. I didn't really know what I was doing. I've just, I've sort of learned as I've gone and seeing other people like you and watching other TV shows, I've got a little bit better, but I'm, I'm not a professional by any chance. With the onion itself, because it's not going to be cooked through or sweated through, you want to cut it up as finely as possible. Right, so we've got the mints. This is basically a pack of mints, about 500 grams. It's going to go straight into our bowl. This is the simplest recipe, literally ready in about 10 to 15 minutes, uh, depending on how you like the lamb, if you like it a bit pink or not. If not, just cook it a little bit longer, maybe about 20 minutes. Um, we're going to add to that a little bit of fresh mint, nice and fine. Lamb loves mint, so obviously put those two together. How are we getting on with the onion? Yeah, almost there. Good. Awesome, nice skills. Right, yeah, I'm so getting better, thanks for that. So I've got that chopped up, nice and fine. We're going to go in with a little bit of our garlic and a little bit of our garam masala. If you haven't got garam masala, any curry powder will pretty much do. It's just to give that little bit of an Indian taste on there to go with the cooling yogurt. A little bit of garlic. I do love a bit of garam masala. It's a great spice to have in the kitchen, isn't it, in the cupboards. I always say, if you have, <laughs> like these things are great, like the spice bags, but if you can get garam masala, caraway seeds, cayenne pepper, chilli pepper, you're pretty much there. You want to hold them in your spice cup all the time because then you can do your chilies, you can yeah, do your store. curries, you can do anything you want. The old store cupboard essentials. Exactly. Mash that together. You don't need any egg in there at all. Uh, lamb itself is quite a fatty um, mince. So if you like, it's going to be coming quite juicy anyway. So if you're doing a barbecue, these are absolutely perfect. Today, you can either do them on a griddle pan or you can just stick them straight in the oven. Um, we're going to stick them in the oven today. But these on a the barbecue are pretty insane. Yeah, so I like, do love a barbecue. A little bit of caramelisation off the onion as well. So do you do all the cooking at home then? Pretty You're much. You're the main chef? Yeah, my chef, yeah. wife used to do a lot of the cooking. Then right. she decided not to. So we're going to keep this, this big? Yeah, you're going to go something like that. So roll them up into like a sort of a reasonable sausage size. Right. <laughs> do like a sausage. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so big, long, old sausage. That's it. Big, long sausage. Yeah, that's, that's, that's about, that's a decent sized sauce. What do you reckon? Is that all right? Slightly bigger than <laughs> Right. And right, then straight through the middle down. of that. Yeah, well you can actually just press it straight down like that. Like that. Mold okay. it around here. This is a little bit blue peter today, isn't it? It is, yeah. Well I'm learning, isn't I? I'm learning the ropes. I've never so, made I've never made a lamb kebab before. You so. will never have a kebab. Do you like lamb? Um, I, I do, yeah. Lamb, I? I love lamb, yeah, like lamb chops. Minted lamb is lovely, isn't it? So yeah. um, I just don't cook it. I don't seem to cook it as much because I'm always about the 15 minutes. I'm always like yeah, I yeah, stick to kind of chicken and fish and that. But I will, you know, I'll experiment a bit more now. Do you actually enjoy it though? Oh, I love what lamb eating it. No cooking. Yeah, like, I, I mean, I've never. To sorry, I um, I've never really, you know, I didn't really learn to cook at home. My mum just, quite, my mum, to be honest, she she wasn't a very good cook. So once I left for uni and that, and I went travelling, I had to do my own cooking. Oh, right. And I've just, I've always, yeah, I've always enjoyed it, and I just kind of learned as I've gone and trying new things. But there's it's therapeutic, though, isn't it? It is. I love watching cooking shows. It chills me out big time. Yeah. I, I watch two things on TV, right? Grand designs and um, cooking shows. Night. Yeah, what's it last awesome. night? Absolutely yeah, it's brilliant. awesome. But it's going to be dated, I reckon, in 10 years' time. Are we talking about the floating house? The one which had all the wooden beams, which he, he, he actually mapped out the house. So I, must have watched la I must have watched last week, so I'm repeat them. This is one when they, they built like a floating house along the Thames that when it flooded, it lifted that was last up. Week's. Was it last week? Yeah. yeah. 
Right. Yeah, that's all rusty outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah all rusty rusty. outside, right, so. Anyway, we're still cooking, just having a little chat. Right, is that a big enough sauce? Yeah, I like the way you've done it like that as well. What, rounded the ends up a it's bit? It's nice, it's all like a corn dog. <laughs> Chili dog, right. <laughs> okay, that's how you're having it. I'm gonna plonk that straight on your tray. Doesn't need any oil on here, okay? It doesn't need anything at all. Remember, it's a fatty mint, so when you put that in the oven, it'll render out the fat and it'll make it that little sticky sort of glaze to it. So into the oven, 15 to 20 minutes, about 200 Celsius. Right, while they are cooking off, we are gonna be getting on with our mint yogurt. We're starting things off, we've got a bit of Greek yogurt. So, how many is that, about 100 grams, 200 grams? It's one of those little pots of total yogurt. Right, so. Pretty important when you do use yogurt to make sure it is something like a total yogurt, purely because the rest are loaded with sugars. Yeah, it's one of them, a good product. Right, so then a bit of salt and pepper, pinch of salt and pepper in there, just for flavour. So next thing then, a bit of mint sauce. This is the stuff you get, what my nan used to put on my roast dinner, you know, just when you get in a jar. <laughs> nan sauce. Yeah, nan sauce, it tastes good. It's like vinegar, isn't it, I love it. Yeah. And then one clove of tr uh, crushed garlic. So give that a little stir. Give it a good mix up. Do you want that in there? Oh, yeah, and the fresh mint as well. A couple of leaves of fresh mint. And then the final thing to add to this is um, fresh cucumber. So you've got a knife yeah, in there. Yeah, a little bit of cucumber. And just chop this up nice and fine, yeah? Yeah. So just go down there. So nice little, small little, tiny little cubes. And that's gonna be such a fresh little thing to add to the kebab. So as you can see, it's a little bit thick to put into our kebab shop, right? So I'm just gonna add a tiny little bit of water. Got a little bit there? Just a tiny little drop just to loosen it up a little bit. Kebab has to have cabbage, in my world, anyway. So to do a light pickled cabbage, really to make a decent pickled cabbage, you're looking at sort of like a, a time for about an hour to about four hours, or even overnight if you want it to sort of um, absorb some of that vinegar. We're gonna show you how to do a real quick one. We're gonna do a Blue Peter style, because we prepared one earlier, but we're gonna just literally take a piece of cabbage, as thin as you can go. If you've got a mandolin, use it. I've got one of the mandolins, but I never really use it. I, I thought I was gonna use it all the time. I was gonna do like it's raw pad tie and all yeah, that. That's it. It's just a big old, yeah, it's such a big old thing to get out. It's, it's like those spiralizers or spiralizers. You've seen them? Yeah, yeah, they're good. They're massive though, aren't they? I've got the one like a pencil shot, and you just kind of push it through that's and twist. Off, yeah. yeah, but they're, you know, Quid off the supermarkets now are doing courgette spaghetti in a bag, so you've even got to do it that's yourself. It, yeah. It's a bit, a bit lazy though. A bit lazy, yeah. Bit, I, like, bit. I like the old um, spiralizer. Basically, when you pickle a cabbage, you always see it really, really bright when you go into like a, a deli or something. All that is just the pickle, it's just taking a little bit of the colours out of it. Right. So into that, we're going to go in with one half a cup of white wine vinegar, a half a cup of red wine vinegar, half a cup of apple cider vinegar. Top that up with water. Just fill it up to the top, basically. If you've got a pickling jar or an old jam jar, stick it in there, put the lid on it, and leave it in the fridge for about four hours. That's gonna work perfectly. Last of all, some caraway seeds. These are optional. A lot of people don't like these. They find them too strong a flavor. I love them. So just like a pinch over the top, and that can go straight into the fridge. And if by magic, We have got the one we prepared earlier. Boss, there you go. So that is the colour you usually see, isn't it? That looks lovely. That. Yeah. Pinch it out without my fingers. Oh, that's lovely, that is. It's going to be strong. Last of all, we're going to go with our mm. flatbread. So, rolling pin. Yeah, you go first. Show me how it's done. Right, so you've got your, your small section like that. And I don't care about this being rusted. I don't care about it being completely spherical. You're not a mathematician, are you? I ain't got nah. to be perfect. <clears throat> as long as, see, that's how I'd have it as a flatbread. So it'd be thicker. Oh, quite thick, yeah? yeah so that's how I'd have it on there. We're going to go thinner with that today because we want to wrap it around it. Right, is that, is that all right? Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Is it big enough? I think so. You ain't got to go, is it got to go in there, though? I'll have to cut a bit off. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't realise we were using that pan. Let's do, let's do pan shapes. So, go I'm up next. I'll stick next it in. Next up. Straight in. <laughs> it's not a pancake, is it? I treat that like it's a pancake. <laughs> right. You still do everything the same as what you film when you do on Instagram. Pretty much, yeah. Gosh, straight I'm always in, in a rush. That's love, that's come out really nice, that has. Nearly so we're going to be doing two recipes today. First of all, following on from our Saturday night takeaway, dirty takeaway, we're doing our kebab. And also, we're going to be doing a curry, which is going to go on Joe's channel, which is... So we're gonna do a lovely, quick and easy chicken patio. It's a type of curry, really healthy, really lean, and it's ready in 15 minutes, which is why I call it Lean in 15. And if you click here, you can go and watch that. But don't obviously miss this one, first of all. Come yeah. back and watch that one. If you wanna see the finished product, yeah. we'll get tucked in. Right, okay, let's plate these up. Right, any true kebab style. One right. of those. So, you just right. gonna use that to pull your kebab off, so to speak. Yeah? Yeah. 
Now it's up to you. I'm going to go with a little bit of watercress. Oh, it's going to taste decent. I can tell this is going to taste amazing. So that watercress is going to give you a little bit of a peppery flavour through there. A little bit of your cabbage. Look at that. I love the colour of that as well. Yeah, so how much, how much it changes in colour? Yeah, it looks, it looks lovely. Mate, like this is a proper kebab. Look at it. Right. So yeah, a little bit of this um, writer. You get your bit of paper, throw it over the top. Roll it. Right. Oh. Now. <laughs> oh, that's the way to do it. Give it a try. So that's your kebab, that's your catcher. Right, yeah? and we're gonna tuck in, yeah? Yeah. Right, pull that back. Come on, I can't get in, I'm starving. Right, ready for the honest verdict? Oh, that's the one, mate. Good. So there we go, it's my super easy Saturday night takeaway replacement, healthy kebabs. If you do make these, you can make them in the evening and have a packed lunch the next day. Um, don't forget to watch my other video where I do a curry on Joe's channel. Please click and watch that one. Check and it out. I shall see you next week. Cheers then, bye bye. See you everyone.